Butler Bulldogs, meantime, played at Hinkle Fieldhouse today for the first time since the death of former player Andrew Smith. Our Eyewitness Sports reporter Rich Nye was at that game when Andrew's widow thanked fans for their support. Must have been very special, Rich. It certainly was, Jenny. Butler fans packed Hinkle Fieldhouse to remember Andrew Smith, a player who exemplified the Butler way and inspired others even in his death. And Samantha Smith courageously took the microphone at halftime. Andrew and I had this, this game on our calendar um, to come to and to say thank you. Um, you know, we were, we were supposed to be here. Andrew Smith is gone, but number 44 was everywhere at Hinkle Fieldhouse Saturday. Smith was on the hearts and minds and t-shirts of so many fans, even the opponent St. John's. A lot of the uh, student sections when he was announced, they always put the little antlers behind his head for Moose because he wore number 44. And so he just wanted to go with the trip and then kind of signify what Moose stood for. Two-time brain cancer survivor and Butler graduate Eric Day started Stay Positive. Former Butler player Eric Fromm brought the cause to Hinkle Fieldhouse after his father died from cancer. Smith and his wife joined the effort during his two-year battle with the disease. It's amazing to see a guy like Andrew or, or my dad when, when they knew that you know it was getting pretty bad and they always have a smile on their face and they're always just lighting up people's days and that's, that's what it's about. Pre-game ceremonies included a video tribute and moment of silence. Thank you. The halftime talk from Samantha Smith was most emotional. Andrew loved Butler so much and, um, and I just want to say thank you for the past two years. Um, they've been hard, although comparatively nothing to the past week. Um, but they've been hard and you guys have made them doable. The Bulldogs beat the Red Storm behind 24 points from Andrew's former road trip roommate Kellen Dunham. And the coach delivered the victory game ball to Andrew's father. The third annual Stay Positive Day is expected to raise $25,000 for Samantha and the Smith family. And on Sunday, the public is invited to the celebration of life service for Andrew Smith. That's at Traders Point Christian Church tomorrow night at 5 o'clock. You know, he inspired the entire community, and so many, I'm sure, will want to attend that service. As an alum, he made me very proud in the way he handled his suffering in grace. Right, which is very difficult. All right, our thoughts are with them. Rich, thanks so much.